Hey, my name is Topher Strauss. I am an artist. I'm here in Telluride, Colorado. This is my new Telluride piece here at the Slate Gray Gallery for a show called Render in the West. Colorado has been in my roots for three generations. It's a place that, that I love that, that really inspires my art and inspires my lifestyle. I seek to experience as much in nature as possible and that really influences what I do and how I do it. Three generations ago, my great-grandfather, David May, migrated from the Kingdom of Bavaria, that's Germany-ish, out to Colorado for the Silver Rush. He came out to Leadville, Colorado, and instead of doing mining himself, he had this idea to, to create a merchantile. It was an opportune moment, and that store quickly expanded, uh, very quickly expanded, and uh, soon became the May department stores which at one time was uh, one of the very biggest department store chains in the nation. Generations later, the company was sold to Macy's department store. And David May's daughter, Florine, my grandmother, she started collecting art. She had an eye for, uh, for, for early Matisse and actually kind of caught these masters early on, like Picasso and Matisse, Miro. She was friends with them. She would hang out with them. So growing up, I would visit her, her uh, apartment in New York City, and I was surrounded by these paintings. I was surrounded by these colors that unbeknownst to me would, uh, would really influence me in my work and how I saw the world. I, I had no idea that I would be a professional artist. In fact, I, I, no, I had no idea until about three years ago. That's when I first started sharing my art with the world. And it's, it's been amazing. And growing up with the, that sort of art in my life and being able to see original Picasso, and Matisse and Miro, and then watching Florine donate all those paintings to various museums around the country so that, that others could experience them that was, that was amazing to see that. And I think that that has a lot to do with my sense of commitment to my community and philanthropy. It's important for, for each and every one of us to become part of our community and to do our part to give back to our community because without community, we don't have anything. And now more so than ever with COVID and, and everything that we're dealing with in the world, I see it as my sense of responsibility to, to use my art, to do what I can, to raise money for organizations that I really believe in. So my background is filmmaking. I like to, I like to see the world in a big frame and composition is so important to me. And it's really a big influence of what I'm doing and how I'm seeing things. Now the way that I, I go about capturing these landscapes is off of a photo or a collage of, of different photos all kind of amassed. And I'm zooming in on the picture and getting as close to it as possible. And I'm using a, a touch pad and a digital stylus and I'm spending, I'm spending hours. I'm spending maybe 10 hours a day, six days a week, starting at five in the morning, getting macro with these landscapes. And what's really cool is I've started to use technology even more so. So you see those like uh, headsets, the virtual reality headsets. Now what I'm doing is when I'm completed my composition uh, on the IMAX screen, I put my headset on and I, I enter the metaverse. I enter virtual reality. And all of a sudden I'm looking at, you know, my landscape and it's 80 foot tall. And I'm able to see the way that the colors all kind of interplay with each other and, and get a, a sense of, of how it's gonna feel when it's big, because I like big. It's important that when you're looking at these iconic landscapes, that you're, you feel like you're in them. And that's, that's why I like the substrates that I use is because you are in them. When you look at this, you can see your reflection and you can see your room's reflection. 
And the light from outside changes the piece throughout the day. It's, a, it's an experience altogether, but that's, that's how I do what I do. And, uh, and will it change? It probably will as new technology comes out or, or when, I, when I come up with a new way to view my landscapes and to understand how they're gonna look before they're printed. I like to believe that my work is transformative, that it's new and fresh and uh, a new way to see nature and to interpret landscapes. I mean, when I look at my, my images, I can hear the music playing almost like, like nature's jazz. Uh, and I try to choose colors in my palette that are in nature, but a bit unconventional. I guess I'm a bit unconventional and, uh, and I like it. Thank you.